All right, so here we are. Uh, we're about to go visit Olino, and uh, I have a request. What's the request, sir? Can we please change the music? <laughs> I'm not listening to this all day, all the way over here. Who's driving? Change it to anywhere. Who's driving? Well, change it to anything else in the entire world. Oh, you want some country art? Yes, okay. anything. I'm already being driven crazy. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! So we gotta go north and then go west. So a little I-10 going on here. Olino State Park is nestled in near High Springs, Florida. And it takes a lot of winding country roads to get there, but it's totally worth it. It's basically a lot of big, wide, open, expansive forest and fields and many people's houses, as well as some hunters here and there. But you just kind of go along and follow the GPS wherever it takes you. And finally, the sign beckons to go down the winding road to Olino State Park. All right, there's the ranger station. We're doing the shorter trail. Why don't we do the longer trail? We could do the longer trail. How long is it? I don't know. We're going to find out. This is gorgeous. It's like fall or winter, just like that. It closes sunset, so we must be careful. It's 1130 in the morning. I know. So we're here at the parking lot, and we could take the green. I want to take the blue one. The first thing we noticed when we got here was that there was a very loud group around, which caused us much amusement. This picnic pavilion looks like a log cabin. It does, cute. <laughs> Having a thing over there, team building exercise. Despite the noise pollution, it's quite beautiful right now. This is the Santa Fe River. And uh, I'm going across a not scary at all rope bridge. I've been on scarier than this. This takes you to the other side where you can go to the trail. And it says don't jump from the bridge, so uh, we're not gonna do that. There's a river trail, this is the yellow trail. Yes. There's the green trail, okay, we're going this way. You can tell it's a yellow trail because of these plastic Walmart bowls sitting right here. This just screams Florida. We got palm trees, what appear to be cypress knees, a very brackish river that could have alligators in it. 
It was definitely Florida. Just kidding. Where are we going, Dan? We're going the wrong way. <laughs> Hold on think, a second. Um, that's a church group that's back there because someone left his uh, Instagram props here. <laughs> <laughs> his Bible and his Power Age Zero. Yeah. Not that I see any. There was some know. kind of fallen tree here. I don't think this was here before. No, it wasn't. Walking on powder. Yep. Not that kind of powder. Mm -hmm. This does look different. I wonder if this was some kind of obstacle course they set up. I know. Well, we're pretty sure these bowls have to do with this church group that's across the river from us. You can hear them. They're having a very manly time. Over here, it looks like during the summer, you can swim here, but who would want to, honestly? <laughs> Here's some stone stairs put in here by Ponce de Leon himself. Oh no, this isn't ominous at all. Did you hear that? What? Silence. <laughs> the levee. I don't trust it. I drove my Chevy here one time and it was gone. We soon found the actual trail and then we got well underway. Oh my gosh, there's people coming. Look out. The shortest part of the trail goes right by the Santa Fe River, and then it leads to where it sinks into the ground. We decide to keep going even further. Clearly, this does not lead to the Blue Trail, so let's keep going. His hair was thrown back and his spurs were a jingle in the night. He approached you and said, the song, you've been young and go. This is the forest of little creepy palm trees. If you're not watching, they might reach out and, and touch you. your behind. Ah, I think one touched me now. Oh. <laughs> Somebody has sunglasses, somebody doesn't. Yeah, what happened with that? What's up with that? It's a river trail, we know this trail. Look at the blue or green trail. Where'd you go? Give up. Crikey, we're lost. Is that somewhere we can possibly go that we can get on lost? Oh yeah, the trail. This way. This way, follow me. Look, a snake. Oh, cry, you a stick. The other trails might be flooded in. The perfect excuse to do less. Apparently, this tall ass tree used to be used on the masses of sailing ships. The most important southern pine anywhere. That type, of, that type of tree? Yeah. And it's marked with a yellow. Ah, just a sign. This is a sign about controlled burns and pine forests. Nobody cares about that, darling. Yeah, huh? Show you our limits. Well, we were going to do the river sink trail, but we decided to see what the Perriner's Branch Trail is because we don't know what a parenter is yeah whatever she said that's what we're gonna do yeah we're gonna try a new thing so now i am in front of hmm, this I think this is the part that connects to the river. I have to consult the map first. Tabitha's patiently waiting and looking for bears. 
Hey, do you see any bears yet? Oh. There's some type of animal. All the animals are hiding from us. I wonder why. So this little part is indeed called a lake. It's called Ojin Lake. Um, I guess the subtitle is No Swimming. So on the map it says Ojin Lake No Swimming. Over here is the typical alligator sign. Uh, do not approach, frighten, or feed. Come on, babe. Over here we got an endless field of little palm trees. This is not... I wonder if this has burned at some point. Possibly. And that's why there's new growth, you know. I wonder if they burn it down or if they chop down the trees. And just... We are Good further shot. along, and uh, the trees have gotten taller, as you can see. These I'm woods turning. get thicker and more ominous the further you go in. I know, it's scary. I'm scared some weirdos out here. It's just us. There is a weirdo out here. His yes. name is Dan. If you want to have any conversations about creepy, scary stuff, this is the part of the woods where you want to go do it. stay off the beaten path here we got some kind of a little lake thing and check it out in here very interesting this appears to be a gopher tortoise hole I think he moved out a long time ago but usually they look like this This is uh, a sink. I don't know if it's the sink, but it looks like it sinks here. This is a part where the river goes under the ground and then it goes underground for a while then comes back up. Oh, this is interesting. You can, you can always tell where the sink is because you see all this green stuff floating in the water. It just kind of abruptly stops right there. That's a beaver dam. That does look like a beaver dam right here. Come look over here, you can see clearly. We only have one mile to go. So we're back to the regular part of the park. All right, so we're almost done with this trail. It's another mile. We're about to pass the green area. As you can see. It's a big see. area of brackish swamp water over here. I think it's part of the flooding that's been going on since the hurricane. The water here is almost up to where the trail's at. There's the trail. We're starting to see the edges Signs of, of society again. Signs of life. We see cabins and what appears to be a motor vehicle. Yep. These are all uh, camping cabins and areas. I think they're primitive cabins. All it is is like bunks and uh, places to put your sleeping bag. I believe that's the shower house. We're coming back. That's the clubhouse over there. If you have a wedding or bar mitzvah, you can go there. Wait, I think that's the old clubhouse. And that's the new one up here. Over here, there's obviously a big event going on which we surmise is a church group. Not sure. All 
I heard some groaning coming from the infirmary. Not sure what happened there. There's that beautiful picnic table area. It looks like a log cabin. All right, I'm, we made it back to the car. We're gonna go find a place with a lot of um, sugary drinks and granola bars or something. That was incredible. So we are here at the world famous Conestogas in Alachua. And uh, we're, we're pretty nuts right now. And uh, we just hiked about what was it? Five, Five miles. miles. How many steps? 13,311. That is awesome. Hey, if you made it this far, I just want to let you know, we really do recommend this park. You'll find it north of Gainesville and west of Jacksonville, very near I-75 and McLenny. And um, it has a lot of short trails and long trails, as well as obvious camping, and it's great for large and noisy groups. So check it out. Thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe. Okay, bye-bye.